Okay, I believe this is video three or video four. Trying to keep these things around 10 minutes and running just in case something really great happens. Um, I guess I don't need to uh, repeat everything that has been happening here. wonder if you could sing to them. They'd like you to sing to them. I just heard like, more like a bird whistle off to my left. It was a solid whistle, but it was, it sounded like a bird. I've actually, you know, done a, quite a bit of experimenting around my home with the bird sounds at night because I feed around my home very frequently. Um, assortment of bird feeds, fruits, nuts. Um, I have a uh, family of gray fox that live out there. She has, uh, I don't know how many pups because I can't tell them one from the other, but they've grown up almost the size of the ma now. Um, this is two years in a row and I have uh, I have actually maybe one of these times I'll show you that it's just right behind my house there's a trampoline there and they go underneath this little hole under the foundation <laughs> they're so funny because at nighttime I lay down to go to bed open up my window and uh, half the time they're right outside my window wrestling around being kids and uh you can hear them out there growling and gnarling and now i've been hearing them start to bark and i don't know if you've ever heard a gray fox bark but it sounds like somebody barfing uh you know it sounds like somebody dry heaving almost or like they got laryngitis when you cough um they ain't like a dog and um last night I actually had to get up and <laughs> told them I said alright you guys enough's enough cut it out <laughs> you know I don't know if they all did or just one come right over underneath my window and started growling at me <laughs> like you little bastard <laughs> <coughs> Drag it, Margaret. Hit the road, Toad. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there goes my ears again. <laughs> you know, that happened on the way in here. Um... Now they're, they're popping back now. Okay, just for the record, on my way in here, about a mile in, good healthy way in, I was hustling. I'm going to go out and cast that track. And on my way in, all of a sudden, like, my ears pressurized. Like, like when you go up in a jet airplane, go head on vacation, or go up a huge mountain and your ears like plug up. Whoa, that was close. Hey! I thought I walked right up onto something growling at me, but it was water working its way down a little hole in this crick going under the ground. And it sounded just like growling. Talk about sticks across the trail, right? Just to let you know, that right there, that wasn't there when I just walked up through here just a little bit ago. It's right on the rock that I step on right there. <laughs> the tree above that that's not dead 
And this is the area right here, this area right here. Okay, so right up in there is where that tree that looks and appears as if it was pulled out of the ground and like up into all these small hemlocks where the hemlocks are all bent over, which was only days after I had gotten whistled at right up in here at 1130 at night. Like, and when I say whistle, I mean, My whistle, that whistle, it was just like a hunter. I never saw a Sasquatch. I started to, well, I'll tell you, I didn't have my headlamp on. And then I was, once I heard that, I stopped and I turned around and in 100% honesty, what the hell is that? Oh, I thought that was a mushroom. I simply um, turned around and looked in that direction waiting for the second whistle. I mean, it was just such a common, that's a hunter. He sees you, he's whistling to you, and you're going to whistle back to him, and then he's going to walk out of the woods. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, hunting, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, bye-bye. Or walk out with you or whatever, be it. just jumped some deer up there um and but that didn't happen no other whistle um i then turned my headlamp on i have the same headlamp i have on right now shine it over in there and see nothing and hear nothing nothing happened at that point i then my heart my adrenaline started pumping and my heart started pounding and I simply just turned around and said, well, old boy, I'm heading out. So if you want to follow me out, follow me on out of here. And I started walking out and I kept my headlamp on. And then I started my uh, phone up and started doing a video walking out. I start telling this story that I heard on Dixie Crypt. Now, up the ways up here a little bit. Uh, the trail will break off to the right and has to go around this swampy area where, you know, back 100 years ago before the beavers got in here, this, this main trail, which was, you know, the logging road, probably just went straight right ahead across that swamp. And, well, <clears throat> because you got to walk all the way around to the right, I get all the way over there and I'm walking along telling that story. And, then, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about, you know, that whistle. And, of course, no matter what, man, you're up here all by yourself, mile or two up into the woods, nobody else with you. And, uh, you know, it's a little hair raising, there's no doubt. Um, next thing you know, I, I hear, let me, okay, listen on this recording, because I have water right in front of me. I'm going to walk through it. And imagine if... If, if you were 40 yards off to the side of me, this is what you're hearing right here. You hear that? Okay, it had, it was in water though. It was, it wasn't mucky mush. It was splashy water. Come out of the tree. Well, I don't know. I need to get her like a wicked powerful light attached to like. Nah, yeah, I gotta stop using my phone to film. I have my camera with me, and and I've been I've had that in hand all the time. I any time that I can use that I use that but <clears throat> if I'm just gonna you know have a talk about something uh, or a quick reference to something I've discovered real quick uh, a lot of times I rely on putting my cell phone on a stabilizer so that the picture isn't wobbling all over the place um, uh, learn that from uh, 
Matt Larson from Central Florida Bigfoot. He is a um, valuable uh, tool to the Bigfoot community. Um, at least he is for a lot of people that I know that are into this uh, phenomenon. Um, the man knows a lot about cameras and filming and uh, he's brought a lot to the table. Uh, for myself, I have improved immensely in uh, picture quality, um, even without having a better camera, just simply having that picture stabilized and starting to understand that lingo. Um, thank you, Matt. If you're watching this, thank you. Um, everybody should thank Matt. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've done gotten way off. Uh... Alright, I'm, I'm shutting this off for a second. I'm going to start it again.